And speaking of terror, the death toll in the terror attack on a luxury hotel in Nairobi has risen to 21. Kenya has been targeted by the Somalia-based Al-Shabaab terror group since 2011. Here are more details of this chilling attack. I was actually doing a presentation when the explosion went off. Um, I think I... I don't have words, I just say thank God that we are okay. It's okay. These are the scenes from outside a luxury hotel in the Kenyan capital Nairobi, which was attacked by the Al Qaeda linked Al Shabaab terror group on Tuesday. Inside, people scrambled to safety. Just when I reached the ground floor, I saw a woman get shot, and then that's when I took out the stairs back to the first floor and then someone actually locked me outside because I'm not from their office and then we went to the washrooms we were like seven people in the same washroom surveillance footage showed heavily armed men entering the compound the footage captured at least four assailants two of them were firing shots in the direction of a parked car before entering the building Gunshots rang out from the compound as security forces struggled to bring out those stuck in the gun battle. A stream of blood-stained victims were rushed to hospitals. Some office workers could be seen climbing out of windows. By the end of the 12-hour gun battle, as many as 700 people were brought out to safety. Emotional reunions could be seen outside. She's my daughter. That's how I was read. In fact, he remembers. I said they'd rather kill me. Did I say that? That's why I came here. I told them, let them free my daughter. I've come. Let the cowards come and kill me. And leave my daughter. President Uhuru Kenyatta later made a televised address to the nation to declare that all attackers had been killed at the compound, which includes a 101 room hotel, spa, restaurant, and offices. The security operation at Ducid Complex is over and all the terrorists eliminated. This was not the first attack by the Al Shabaab in East Africa. In September 2013, the Somalia based terror group had killed as many as 68 shoppers at the Westgate shopping mall in Nairobi. That terror sage had lasted 80 hours. Two years later, the same group carried out one of its deadliest ever assaults in Kenya, killing almost 150 people at the Garissa University campus. Kenya has been a particular target of the group as the country is part of a regional peacekeeping operation that supports the Somalian government battle the Al Shabaab. More than 10 years later, after an attack in India's financial capital, Terror returned to a luxury hotel, this time in Kenyan capital. Thousands of kilometers away, security agencies, it seems, are still learning their lessons. Bureau Report, Weon, World is One.